Hello, I'm Rachel Piper, and welcome to this month's 50-minute chair class called Around the Clock. Joseph Pilates created the commando exercise called Around the Clock back in 1943. He had a pamphlet that stated that it could fix all sorts of things with the body. Um, and whether or not that's been scientifically proven, which I don't think it has, uh, it is a super fun exercise. I like to think of it as a hyped up double leg stretch and it incorporates super fun things that I really love, like the teaser, uh, roll up, the hundred, uh, rolling like a ball, double leg stretch, all the good stuff. It's kind of all wrapped into one, and it's usually done in the mat work. However, today we're going to play with a whole, well, this whole month, we're going to play with a whole bunch of different exercises that you can do on the chair to create a little bit more stability, uh, a little bit more control, and it'll challenge you a little bit so that you can get all the pieces you need to be able to practice your around the clock. He also called it a stunt, which I think is pretty fun. So some of the stuff that we do, uh, I might refer to that. But the whole goal was to sort of ignite your center and stretch you long and bring you back in. You're expelling your air and you're inhaling good air as you go around. And the idea is that you're long at 12, you come in on one, you're long at two, you come in on three, you're long at four, all the way around to 12 and then you come back again. And the goal is to try and get around and back in a minute. So we, I'll do the whole thing at the end for you, but we're gonna build up to it. So we're gonna see what's possible now and what's possible at the end of class, and then we'll see what's possible on day one of the month and at the end of the month. So I'm gonna give quite a bit of substitutions here right at the beginning so that you know that you can substitute any of these instead of, uh, instead of the around the clock. So the first thing we're going to do is just a double leg stretch. And I'm just going to use the chair here. Um, the origi original pamphlet said that the legs would go about three inches from the floor, but uh, I'm going to do it nice and high and, and that's fine. Okay. So we're going to start back. I'm going to scoot up a little bit. We're going to start back in sort of our double leg stretch position. So first thing we're going to practice is just that double leg stretch. Arms go with the legs. We're going to reach out and we're gonna pull back in right here. And maybe you pull back so much that maybe you lift your tail a little. And you're gonna pull out, and then you're gonna come back in, okay? That's number one. The next thing that you can do is you're rolling like a ball. So we can come up, and we can grab those shins, and we can just practice our rolling like a ball. And it's early. So these usually come after a few exercises in, and that's fine. So you can substitute with that. The other thing that you can always substitute with is the 100. And you can do your 100 with your legs long here. And you can just practice maybe inhaling for five arms going up and exhale for five as the arms go down and really feel that fire right in your center when you're doing this. Inhaling up and exhaling down. So those are all the practice ones you can do. You can also do a rolling like a ball teaser to practice and then come back down okay so now i'm going to show you part of the extra exercise so you can substitute substitute any of those but we're going to break it down we're going to do a section and then we're going to play with a little bit of around the clock and then we'll go back to some chair work and then do around the clock so right now we're going to do we're going to go from 10 to 2 to or 12 to 2, back to 12, to 10, to 12. Okay, so go ahead and lie back and you can use your chair here, like using the chair as a little bit of a basis here. So you're going to stretch out, you're going to come in, you're going to rock to 1, rock to 2, and stretch. Rock to 1, rock to 12, and stretch. Rock to 11, rock to 10, and stretch. Rock to 11, rock to 12, and stretch, and come in and put the head down. 
Go ahead and roll yourself up and we're gonna come up to the chair. You're gonna be on a high, low, or a two, three. For me, I'm gonna put a little pad here and you can always grab a ball for this footwork. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna sit on the chair. So we're gonna do variations of footwork. That way we can practice sort of that, that coming in and being nice and long. So let's go into our Pilates V, sit at the front of the chair. You're nice and tall. If you have the ball, you can put it in between your heels or you can put it in between the legs here. And we're gonna do a little bit of a variation where we're gonna curl and straighten. So go ahead and bring the pedal up nice and tall and you're gonna curl and grab those legs and then you're gonna reach the pedal down and you're gonna lift up tall and you're gonna exhale bring the legs in inhale to reach exhale come in once you have this we're gonna do ten and exhale and reach and exhale and reach and exhale and you're just gonna try and find that length out and then try and pull yourself in reach yourself out and pull in and if you have the ball you can just press that ball both legs into your ball inhale and exhale let's go to heels so go ahead bring or sorry your arches let's go ahead and come to the arches and be nice and tall for this one i want your head to be back nice and tall we're gonna feel we're gonna do like a little bit of a fly and then go to the shins. So as we come up, we're gonna have the shins. And then as we take it down, we're gonna go wide. And then pull it in. And then go wide and pull it in. And so what we're doing here is we're creating a little bit of oblique work. As we take the arms out and press the legs down, we have to fire everything up. And this is what we be doing. As we go around the clock, we need to fire up our sides to be able to get us around that circle. So you're nice and tall, head is back. And exhale to pull in, two more. Last one. Now we get to come to heels. Heels is gonna be super fun. You get to stay in a little bit of a seed shape here and you just get to hold that chair and you're gonna bring the pedal up. You're gonna press the heels down and you're gonna try and keep that long C shape and then pull it back in. So down, I just have my fingers pointing here, nice straight down, and back up. Press it and come back up. And it's okay, go nice and slow because you're gonna have to do those connections. I know for around the clock, we're gonna try and go all the way around and back in a minute at the end. But uh, you can do this work nice and slow, sort of fire you up and get you ready for all that work. Last one. And back up. Go ahead and come to the balls of your feet and you can get rid of this ball or you can actually keep it for pumping. We're gonna do pumping next. So I'll go ahead and keep it here and we're just gonna sort of rinse it out. So go ahead and put the hands back behind the head, have your thighs nice and parallel here to the floor and you're just gonna do your nice tendon stretch. So you're gonna point the toes and then flex, as you, flex your feet as the pedal comes up. So point and flex. And let's just go do two more. And now we're gonna come, we're gonna stay on the balls of our feet here. We're gonna stay in parallel and we're gonna do 10 tall pumping and then we're gonna do 10 curled pumping. So you're gonna be nice and tall, hands back behind the head. We're gonna lift it up and we're gonna pump middle range. Try and stay as tall as you can. Bring your center back. Ignite that fire. And that feels like about 10. Then we're gonna come and we're gonna curl here. So you can either curl here, or you can have your hands down here. I feel a little bit more stable with my hands behind my head. And you're gonna curl, and then you're gonna pump the legs. And you're gonna try and keep that C shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Press your head into your hands as you pump. And then go ahead and come up. We're gonna go to heels and do the same thing. Heels is a little bit different. We're gonna try and ignite the back of our body into our butt that'll help us keep our legs up in the air when we're out in our around the clock so heels and press you're super tall create that connection your head to your hands all the way through to your back your back and your center 
like your front and your back are what we're going to need to be able to move us around in a circle and bring us back. Pause, curl, pump with those heels, pull it back in. And if you haven't tried a ball here, really good for that stability. If you feel like you're flying all over the place and your upper body is doing whatever it wants to and not what you want it to, 